Okay, man, I've done four so far, and they're going pretty much like clockwork. Now, if you can't pull this out, let's say you can't get that, you could try to grab that with a pair of pliers, let's say, or some of these are, are not clicking out as easily as others. I could mess with that a little bit, but I mean, I could cut the wires off. There's lots of stuff, lots of things I could do, but I could just do this and pull the wires down and usually they're kind of rolled up like that. Okay, I can separate these out a little bit like that. Okay, now I'm just going to undo one. I'm going to undo the white wire. I don't know if it really matters which one you start off with. That's just what I'm going to do is that one there. And if you notice each one of these going up there has a has a double wire, two reds, two blacks, two whites. Now in some instances you might have two blacks, two whites, and just one red, let's say, or one, one, and one. But if you have, let's say you have two white wires going up there, two black wires going up there, and just a red, one single red wire going up there, then make sure you remember which wire nuts you're going to use for the red. Because you don't want to take one that you took off with two, with two wires plus this would be three wires and put it under here, uh, then your wire nut might not go up tight, let's say. Okay. So always kind of be aware of that. Okay, I still have the power off, but I'm still treating this as though it has power to it. And I'm just going to do one at a time. Let's get it so you feel it is nice and tight. Kind of pull on that. Looks fine. Okay. And I'm still going to kind of make sure that these wires don't touch each other. Let's say. Okay, I'm undoing the black one. Pulling that out of there. Getting the new black wire. Right there. Hang on to it tight, twist tight. You might think you got it tight and you go a little bit more and you think, oh, okay, there it is. And I can pull on that. I got just the red wire left. Okay. I get everything out of my way, so I'm just working with the red here. And if you really wanted to, you could probably do this hot. Basically, you're going to do it the same way. But, of course, I can't tell you to do it hot. That would be bad. <laughs> well, I'm still going to act as though they're hot. You might be hearing chirping in the background because I've been working on these. And I've set, on some of them, I've actually set the battery and I probably should have waited until I got everything done. Let's say, okay, now I can see how I'm going to push, push these wires back up in there. Keep your dirty fingers off the walls. Okay, I'm going to kind of situate it so I got the, the, um, the flexi wires out on the little piece that I put in. Okay, Let's see here. So when I get up there, I've got my fingers off the ceiling. I don't want to put my fingers up there, okay? My grubbies. Okay, maybe. Okay, that looks pretty good like that. Okay. Back up the ladder I go. See, now I can put the trim on. You don't want to put the trim on first, because then it's, obviously it's going to be hard to get all your wires up there. I think, you, I think you know that. But if you're not watching it, you might forget the sequence. Yeah, put that up where it needs to go. Slide that into place like that. And 
tighten it up. I like to make sure that the screws are right at the end of the slots because then the head of the screw is going to fit up in there. You'll, you'll see if you look at it really close. Yeah. Make it snug like that. Okay. I'm going to keep the camera going this time. Back up the ladder I go. I'll make sure I fit this in properly and I get the sides snapped in where they go like that and I want to look at it and make sure it's pushed in all the way because sometimes you might get the prong in and you, you've only got it tight on one side and the other side needs to be clipped in you didn't realize that before you pushed it up and then you're trying it and saying what's going on here okay so pushing it up in there and I'm just going to fit it where the where the notch is right there. Now once I turn it just the first time, you're going to hear it, it buzz and that's setting the battery like that, see? Now I have to still turn it to the right until it kind of latches in. Okay, I felt it. I don't have to go any tighter than that, okay? Now I can leave it like that and turn the breaker back on, but I've been setting the battery, and once I get all done, I'm, obviously I'm going to turn the breaker back on, and then I'm going to have to reach up here with, with maybe a broom handle or something, push that again, just to make sure it resets properly after I have the, the hot power, uh, the breaker turned back on, okay? So, now I'm going to press here, and it beeps once, now I'm going to press and hold, three long chirps, another three, And then one. Now it'll do it again. And it chirps once and we know the battery is set. And that's all you have to do if you hot wire it in there. But because I've got the breaker off, once I turn the breaker back on, I'm going to go through, I'm going to press that button again just to be on the safe side. 